Hi folks, Howard at Raglan Piano Company. Here's a video that demonstrates how and why to sharpen a screwdriver. Come in close, Daryl. Screwdrivers from the factory. Now this is a very old one, but even brand new ones from the factory typically have this wedge shape here. And as they're used, they'll get dull on the end, dull on the sides. I'm going to show you how to make this sharp enough to really grab into a screw without camming out. Okay, so we're going to go over. You could do this with a file also if you don't have a sander. I just do it this way because it's a little bit faster. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually true the end of this up. There's corners that are knocked off and it may not be square. So we're going to trim it off. Then I'm going to take material out of each side. Here's why we want to do this. The slot viewed from the side in a typical screw, whether it's a flat head or is a round head or even an oval head, the slot is going to be straight sides, straight bottom. And a, almost every screwdriver tip that you pick up from a home improvement or hardware store is going to have a wedge tip like this. And when you try to use that inside this slot, what happens is this angle bearing against this causes it to cam out and usually burrs the edges of the screw. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to sand this screwdriver such that it has a shape that more closely matches the slot in the typical wood screw. So we're going to take this material out and then we're also going to do a little something to the end here to help it bite and grab, and I'll give you that demonstration. But this is what we're doing, making the screwdriver tip fit in that slot better. Let's do this thing. All right, so we've squared the end of it up some. I may go a little bit further because I can still see where these are a little bit rounded here and here. Okay, so that's a good start right there. Can you see that, Daryl? All right, so now we're going to take and remove a little bit of material from each side to take this from being a wedge shape to a straight shape. Obviously, you don't want to get this too thin. Different size screwdrivers will have different thicknesses here on the end, depending on the size screw they're designed to handle. We've got this one about right, right here. Now, there's one more thing that uh, I've learned to do, and we're going to drop this end just on some hard, a hard surface. In, in our case, I'm going to use the concrete floor, and that kind of also flares that end out. Then I'm going to give you a demonstration of pulling an action across the table using just the screwdriver. Let's go over here, Daryl. Okay, let's go over here now. This is the part where we grab that right here, like so. And uh, I can actually pull it across the table because the end of that screwdriver grips that screw slot so well. All right, here we go. Put it in right there, and I can actually pick the action up with it. You're not going to be able to do that with a, a screwdriver that hadn't been sharpened properly. <laughs> 